Howdy folks, Cody here with Ironverse Comics, doing another Ironverse Comics Quickie, this time on Lone Wolf. Yeah, look at that cover, if it'll focus, yeah, it's a nice cover, I like that cover. So, first off, let's contextualize this review a bit. I've shared quite a bit of space with this book's creator for a while. He's a good fella. Also, this work shares some passing similarities to Jack Irons. Passing in that it also stars a Wild West immortal. Um, so I'm a bit biased for a good supernatural western, but um, let's see together how biased. Uh, the cover's excellent, as I was just commenting on, and shows you very much what's in store for the series. Kudos there, absolutely. I'm also a huge fan of the coloring used in this book. Let me... Um show you something here without spoiling too much. I'll spoil a little, but uh, it is what it is. Big fan. Big fan of the coloring in this book. It complements the line art and story very well. And uh, on the story, uh, you do end up feeling for the main, and by the end you do want to see where he's gone, which is the biggest compliment uh, for these kind of books. Uh, no wasted space, no wasted time. Um, I always appreciate that. Now, uh, we'll, we'll go for the sweep in the legs now a little bit. There's, there's one thing, uh, and the writing is good. Um, it's solid, it keeps you engaged. It's not very lyrical, and it's uh, very much straight to the point. Uh, it's a quick read, both to his benefit and its loss, in that I didn't feel like I got enough, but I did want more. Um, and I didn't feel cheated by how much more I wanted. Uh, it wasn't lacking. It just it could have had more. Um, and I had a few issues with the depiction of firearms and the angles chosen to depict them. But it's really a small thing. Like, um, let me see if I can find this panel real quick, folks. It's a pretty early panel. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Yeah, that one right there. That gun's not my favorite depiction of a firearm I've seen in, in a comic book. It's fine. It's fine. But that's when it started, and then I kind of started noticing it uh, when I saw more firearms. So that was one of its weak points. Um, but it's kind of a small thing when taking context of the story and where the art's really taking you. I, I think they did a damn fine job with it. It's definitely got an indie book feel to it, which is, to me, a good thing. To others, maybe not. But to me, definitely a good thing. Um, overall, it's got great potential for an excellent series, and I do indeed wish it to continue. And if supernatural westerns are your bag, this one may be worth your time. Sum up, it's kind of rough around some edges, but it's straight to the heart of the journey, and if you want that kind of journey, you'll have a good time. And I can appreciate that. I'm Cody with Ironverse Comics, and I'll see you on that rusty Ironverse Comics trail.